But here's another quick video. This is a bow function plate. I've uh, already taken the case off and I've removed all the screws on the back here. Uh, there's a number of screws. It's fairly obvious what they are. Uh, these all come apart. There's a couple of unsoldering jobs here. You need to remove the SMA connector feed through here and there's also another lead that needs to be unsoldered here which is the DC uh, that comes up from the battery here. Uh, there's a electric condenser mic here. If you take this off, turn it round, just put the iron in between these two here and then just, just tap it and it will drop straight out and then just get the solder sucker on clean those up. Um, this is the main RF chip here. This is a, it's a fully integrated RF a radio transceiver all on one chip it's uh, made in China um, this is the microcontroller an EEPROM if you like uh, whatever this contains the logic of the radio you know the beep tones and the memory channels and the voices and, voices and all that kind of type of stuff it's all done on here this is the reference oscillator here uh, this is a little audio amplifier here with some local um, um, uh, some you know capacitors here just to stiffen up the power supply um, this is the, the the RF comes out the chip here up through this path here this is into the driver stage and this is the final uh, here um, and then uh, up around here there's a, a, resist, a capacitor inductor network here and then down in here we've got some um, a pin diode this is the front end of the receiver here this little preamplifier and what have you and then this uh, works its way down uh, onto the chip as well and this is the switches between RX and TX here and we've got some low pass filtering here uh, before it finally gets to the antenna socket um, <clears throat> There's an LED that goes, white LED that goes on here, but I've taken that out. Uh, what I normally do is take out, there's an inductor here, I've removed it, but it looks very similar to one of these here, it's just a little coil. Uh, this uh, effectively um, um, stops the RF from getting back into the battery whilst allowing the DC to pass. Take this out and you remove all the power off this. Uh, so we're only running on driver power and it capacitively couples across this transistor and you get about a milli, uh, a milliwatt or so out. Uh, which is enough around the house use. If you want a bit more, uh, take this transistor off completely. Uh, the way you do that, it's very simple. Just run some solder onto the uh, onto the the legs of the transistor here. Leave it on for about about a minute, 30 seconds, and all of a sudden this will just you just push it off with the iron and just push it back. It will just float off, and then very quickly with some tweezers grab it, and then clean up the pads. And then if you think of this as an input and an output, uh, input and the output and the ground in the middle, just get a tiny bit of wire and jump her over the top. Keep it as short as possible to um, reduce any inductance and uh, you'll get, uh, depending on the input voltage, if you run it about 4 volts you'll get about 100 milliwatts uh, coming out, uh, or slightly less, about 90 milliwatts. Run it about 3.5 volts and you'll get about, uh, about 35 to 50 milliwatts, which is more than enough. So there you go. That's a quick look at the uh, the Baofeng AAA. Anybody who's familiar with the mic the the micro hubs, micro nodes, uh, this is what's inside them. They're very reliable. I've never had a bad one, and for the money, you just cannot beat it. There's no way you can beat it. There are radio modules available. Um, <clears throat> but uh, they're more expensive by the time you start fiddling around and uh, for the bit of work it is to strip this down and take out what you need. Uh, you just can't beat it. And um, So there you go, the Balfour Triple Eight taken apart.